Last week, we had a live video chat with Mark Zanino here in his atelier. Yes. And it was a lot of fun. Obviously, with the live chat, we kind of have to just stay in one place. And I wanted to come back and do a little bit of time with you where we could show some of the gorgeous things that you've created. So thank you so sure, much. my pleasure. Once again. Bye. So one of the things we were talking about in the live video chat is that you really got started in the industry kind of with your sketches. And each yes. of your designs, right, starts out with a beautiful sketch. Yeah, it's, it's the first visual that I have to actually, you know, show the client or whoever I'm working with mm -hmm. um, what it is that we're talking about. Most people are visual. They can't just, uh, yes. you know, conceptualize it in their head. So this is how we start. And it also has to look accurate. Mm -hmm. I can't sketch something that makes someone look seven feet tall and pencil thin when you're not. <laughs> it's the, really? Bummer. The clients, I know the clients <laughs> like it, but I'm not going to look like that. So, um, proportionately, I try to always uh, make it look as realistic as possible. And one of the things I find interesting is that the sketches are, are beautiful and detailed, but you even add kind of to the sketch yeah. where there's going to be sequins. Glitter and, and yeah. whatever's going on. Uh, I, uh, again, want me to make it look as realistic as possible. So that's uh, what we do. And then here you put some of the examples of the fabrics that you're going to use. And yeah, the layering. And, and, um, I mean, and a lot of times what happens is when a client comes in, we have to, or they have to, then take it to their husband or whoever oh, to show for yeah. approval and say, this is the price, is it okay? Or um, if it's, you know, mother of the bride, we trip to the daughter or right. whatever it is. So. Well, this was an especially... I'm so sorry. This is my phone that's dinging. And let me get that out of here. <laughs> you may need to throw that further away. Because that's still going to ding. There okay, we go. There we go. <laughs> it's not going to go hear that annoying ding. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the things that I love about this sketch is that it's one of my favorite actresses in yes. the entire world, Sofia Vergara. Yes, she's um, wonderful. And I worked with her. This was a dress we did for um, the rehearsal dinner after party. Being Colombian, she said, we party like crazy. And um, so I did this dress for her, and crazily enough, it got more attention than anything. It and, did, yeah. Uh, Entertainment Tonight, everybody wanted to do interviews and talk about the dress, and, and I think it was because she was so happy, it fit her well, she felt good in it, and I think that's what made the whole thing work. Yeah. So this is some of the things that you're known for are really flattering a woman's figure, not that Sophia needs that, because yeah. she's stunning. This was another beautiful dress. Who did you do this um, for? This was for... Um, Eva? Eva, yeah. Eva... Uh, Longoria? No, no. Eva... Uh, uh, Mendez. Mendez, okay. Yeah, this was Eva Mendez, and it was actually for a feature film she was in. I did I did her and Scarlett Johansson oh. um, for a film that came together. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. So these are some of... The amazing celebrities that you've done. Wait, yeah, this is this is a great one, and I don't want to mess up your sketches. I'm going to very gently. Are you kidding? I would I would just frame all of these. Katie. Um, yeah, Katy Perry, and this was um, a slip dress for a kind of roaring twenties party that she went to. I've seen pictures of her in this dress. I swear. Yeah, she's yeah. so so pretty, and, and she can make anything look good. This one I've seen this the picture. Was, yeah, this was a little crazy because Vogue magazine wanted a dress of mine, but it didn't tell me who it's for. And it was Vogue, so I said, sure. Then later they're like, oh, you're dressing Kim Kardashian. I'm like, no, I'm not. And they said, yeah, it is. And I was like, oh, you know, why did they do this? Because we're not always in sync right. with, you know, what needs to be done. Um, but this initially ran in Italian Vogue, and she looked amazing. Stunning. She looked beautiful. She wore a short wig. Yeah, amazing. And she was kind of the jacket over her shoulders yeah. in one of the shots. Well, in one of the shots. And then she she was on a... On a uh, director's chair kind of leaning in the in the guy just looked amazing and yeah. I could the crazy thing is most people didn't even recognize that it was her because she had looked I didn't recognize her at first. And you sent me some of the pictures <laughs> yeah. and you said this is Kim Kardashian. Yeah. I said are you sure? Yeah. Love that. Okay. And then this oh this is beautiful. Oh Julia this was Julia Roberts for the Lancome ad uh, ads oh, that are running yes. most of them are running now or they yeah. will be soon. Yeah. Oh I love her. Wait, wait, oh yeah. okay. Jane. Yeah, Jane Fonda. I did this recently for an award she had received. I forget what for, but um, she looks amazing. Beautiful. beautiful yeah, beautiful. looks amazing. And then this is um, Serena Williams. She was just um, uh, labeled uh, Woman of the Year by Sports Illustrated. It was on the cover, and this is what um, wow. I had her. So when you, if you were going to define your style or what you're known for. 
or why the celebrities come to you. Obviously, as, as you stated before, they can choose to go to anyone. Yeah. They're choosing to come to you, and their their look is their brand, mm -hmm. which is very important. What what do you think it is about your designs that make them want to work well, with you? What I would hope that it is is that I listen. I listen to them. I research them, I study them, I really try to get the essence of what they're all about. Um, you know, I'm known for form-fitting clothing, clothing and all that look, whatever, but it, but it also has to be that person. I, um, I think the one thing I'm really good at is getting someone attention, good attention. Yes. And so, and I, and then I, you know, we always, I always try to make someone look and feel a little bit better than they normally do. Yes. And because I think that's when you really glow. Come to me, and that's where they pay what they do. Right. So, so you know, that's that's my focus. But I'm really about everybody being an individual, um, not like a, that's a Mark Zanino dress. You know, I can tell. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I thought was interesting, and we were able to have um, some models come in and and show us some of your beautiful gowns, and I, I was amazed, and we didn't even get a chance to see all of them on because we kind of are running out of time. But I was amazed at the range. So one of them is a beautiful gold evening gown. Yes. And this is absolute glamour. It's not your traditional corset, no. but you it know, is absolute dress. glamour. Yeah. It's soft dress. It's a, it's a, um, a baby Italian sequin mesh, basically fishnet. And um, I did it over a silk jersey, and it's got a big, big um, illusion front and back. Um, and it really, it's just a very tall look, very kind of Halston-esque. Yeah. You know, you say on on back in the days. And, um, and 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 I like that too. Again, um, I can't remember what celebrity I did that for, but um, initially that's what she wanted a long slinky look, right? And uh, that's why she chose it. And um, do you remember what kind of event she was going to? It was a, it was an award show. Okay, it'll come to me. Because um, you she was do, blonde, I remember that. You do gowns. I mean, every awards show red carpet has some of your gowns going. Yeah, down yeah, they always do. And the crazy thing that a lot of people are, you know, is like, and why I don't like always saying it unless it's a hundred percent sure, um, is that most women are women, and they get several dresses, and they want to see how they feel that day. Um, Other than, unless it's a woman that wants something specifically created, okay. and she knows she's not going to change her mind, but a lot of women want to know. Maybe what the weather's going to be like that day, or if they hear competitive uh, right. actresses are going to so be wearing the same color or whatever. Some of the actresses or the celebrities will have a number of dresses, yeah, and they'll, for many different reasons, choose the one as they're going out the door. Almost. Exactly, and um, and it's 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 exciting because you know it's it's thrilling for me to wait to see what they're going to wear, but it's also going to be disappointing when it's like eh, not yeah. my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, the next one I wanted to talk about is um, the one that to me looks very Dior, and it's an ombre in the gray and the gold. That is an unbelievable it's a, dress. It's an amazing dress. It's um, a very expensive fabric. It's um, yeah, the, an, the fabric. Um, it's I, crazy. Unbelievable. It's an Italian um, uh, metal, actual metallic lame, um, and it's woven with silk threads, and so it ombres up to the top, and it's just loose silk threads so it's um very delicate i didn't realize how delicate <laughs> when yeah. we made it but it's a very delicate dress and then it has the sheer organza uh sort of shirt cut coming out of the top of the bustier did you make that for anyone in particular or that actually um initially i made for donna mills for an award that she received and it was um sort of the beginning of when she she was doing fantastic and she was kind of coming out of retirement and uh, being asked to do a lot of things. And she said, I'm getting this award. And I oh, gave me all the parameters. And I said, let's do something very Dior, very, mm -hmm. you know, it's got the, the high-low front. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I was just like, let's, you know, very swooping, very elegant, very feminine, very sort of Grace Kelly. And uh, that's what we came up with. So obviously she looked amazing in it. If, if you were going to put that on any other actress who had ever, yeah. ever lived. Yeah, it's so crazy. Well, whoever <laughs> lives, Chris Kelly, but yeah. who, who has recently said that they, she loves that dress and I need to come up with a concept for um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Um, her, oh, someone was yeah, pulling she for would her. Look amazing and I didn't have what she was yeah. looking for, and that had already been worn, but her stylist said that is what Jennifer was wanting. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to be coming up with sketches and sending her some oh, sketches absolutely. and see if we get that look on her. I also wanted to just um, touch briefly on some of the gowns that you have 
on, on the mannequins mm -hmm. in your atelier. One of them is the one that's right behind you, which is beautiful black beading on the top and then lots and lots of fabric. Yeah, that is, um, it's all Italian glass bugle beads on the top. And it has, I think, about 14 layers of illusion, uh, Italian illusion netting on the bottom um, in a massively long train. Yeah. And uh, that actually was done and originally for um, General Motors, they had asked me to be their exclusive designer and and specifically for Cadillac. And so they put me in a Detroit with a fashion show and we actually had a fashion show of all my gowns, but a car would come out about every 12 girls. They'd send oh, a well. car on the road <laughs> and, and rotate, come back. And it was a huge thing. They wanted me to start traveling around the world as an American designer promoting this oh, American wow. car line. But that's also then when the car industry took a dip and oh, it, yeah. it never came to fruition. So uh, that's how that started. And then um, because it was publicized, uh, I really didn't solicit it to any major celebrities. And then all of a sudden, Lisa Vanderpump just came on the scene oh, and did yeah. a huge layout for a magazine. She that, really loves your designs. Yeah, and she wore it, and it was just like, they actually, I think it was for Vanity Fair, and it took two pages. It, it They did the, a, a double page, and that train just across the whole thing. Wow. It, was, it was pretty dramatic, it was wonderful. Um, quickly, the one across mm -hmm. the doorway with the, the beading and yeah, the kind of Yeah, that pages. did for uh, Mary J. Blige, and that was for oh, that's really awesome of her. Amazing. And it was something, she never had worn anything that risque, and she was just like, I don't know if I can do this. And I was actually, who you know, I was working with Philip Block, Yeah. because Philip said to me, she had the dress, we fit it, did all the dress, and he said, I just have to tell you that Roberto Cavalli is paying her to wear one of his dresses, and her representatives are here, they fit the dress, so she's probably not gonna wear your dress. And she had chicken, we had made this dress, I was so bummed. And then uh, I said, well, text me to let me know, because I don't wanna watch the show and be so disappointed. And um, and right before she was hit the red carpet, he said, she told them, I don't need the money, take it back, I wanna wear this dress, and she wore my dress. Oh. And so I was like, I love that. It, it's wonderful, because so many actresses are paid now. Um, yeah, that's something I never realized. I think yeah. in so many cases you just think, Oh, she's wearing what she personally loves yeah, and no. shows. And that's, and that's the thing. It's not, not even the case. no. It's not even necessarily the, you know, the, the the dress she wanted. It may be one of, but she's paid to wear that designer, and um, it's something I just can't compete with. I don't also don't want to because it changes the whole concept of it. You're sort of sold mm -hmm. by a spitter. I completely real, realize how promotional it is. I'm fortunate that any designer is to have their dress on a, a, a major celebrity when she's walking the red carpet. But I think it, um, I think the actress sort of sells herself short when you just become a hanger to the highest bidder. Right. Um, very quickly, I recognize the gown by the front door. That's yours, yeah. That is, that's the one that The you crazy use. thing is, that's a, a, all silk ribbon, all hand done, and it's, it's hand beaded. That, is that all by, that, that, you know, it's one of the most expensive dresses that we have made in years, years, years. That's about a $38,000 dress. To any other major designer, it would be probably a hundred thousand plus. Um, but we sell about thirty-eight thousand, and have done many of them. But you, I love working with you so much. We have always come up with some really wonderful things. Yeah. And whatever we've done for you, you've usually seen on a ton of other celebrities because yes. they love what you wear. Your taste is such the epitome of glamour in Hollywood. The green ombre dress that we did oh, a while back. The green ombre dress with the feathers. Yeah. That has. I know. I have seen that on so many and celebrities. And the red with the gold. Exactly. And I'll say, this has been worn. It was worn by Lisa. It was worn by. And they're like, I don't care. I want to wear it. And they and wear it. And then it just lives on and on and on. <laughs> One of the things um, that I, I love that you do, you do amazing evening gowns, uh, obviously. But one of the outfits in your showroom is a great leather top with the sequin skirt. Yeah, I do a ton of really edgy things. I do a lot for, especially a lot of the pop singers, yeah. um, R&B people, um, but for, and, and I love it. It's actually what I really love to do, but for some reason it's always gonna be the red carpet gowns that get that all the attention. The attention. So yeah, everything else gets muffled by all of that. But the socialites, come to you for what they wear kind of more on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. And so one of the models, uh, I love that kind of tweed, the jacket yes. with the leather. And that Talk was actually, that. That, that's a collar that was taken from a, a vintage Balenciaga photograph that I saw. 
and I wanted to modernize it, so we put the fluted sleeve on it. Um, still kind of had that retro forties peplum, um, but did it with a leather pant, and then did the, the uh, it's um, red and uh, red rocks and uh, tiger's eye. Um, wow. and uh, raw stones that we embroidered the uh, halter top underneath it. And then I wanted to do it so it had in enough that you could see collarbone. Uh, because again, any age woman can wear it, just keep yeah. jacket on this guy will look. Perfect. Because I think one of the things, obviously we know your gowns, as we've been saying, but the socialites come to you, and they're from all over the world. Yeah. There were socialites literally fly in to do the work. Like you as you know, tomorrow I'm going to be here bright and early because I have women flying in. Just They fly in and they fly out. So it's we're, we're going to be fitting. But you know, outfits like this, they um, may be going to a luncheon, they just, it just may be the way they dress, but they always want to stand out and be noticed, yeah. so we can do something unique. Well, the red that we put on our last model will yes. definitely stand out, and how do you describe mm -hmm. that outfit? It's, um, it's crazy because it's a very <laughs> modern look, and it was, um, I originally did this for, I was asked um, the, uh, what is it, the red uh, heart, fashion show that kicks off fashion season oh, in yes. New York every year and they always pick somebody. And I started with Donna Mills and then the next year they were having John Van Art and they called me and said, would you dress her? Because I had said to them, everyone expects you to be in a gown mm -hmm. and it's what most of the women wear. I said, you know, we can do it, we can make it whatever, but I want you to look like mother of the bride and let's just like do something that you know we would expect. So for Donna, I did a, a strapless red wool crepe pantsuit, a, a jumpsuit with a big short organza coat. And so this for uh, Joan Van Ark, um, we call it our scant. It's that pant with a skirt, you know, yeah. sort of panel in the back. And it's a red cop crocodile that I had um, dyed. But this jacket has been bought by everybody from, from Katy Perry has it, um, Kimberly Perry from the band Perry. A ton of rock people have it. Right, um, it's great. They, they love it. And so it's a, a little bit futuristic. It's, I don't know what it is, it's just, it was fun. I loved designing it's very, that. very cool. I love the fact that you're able to design the entire gamut. Yeah. And it's, I think that's... Well, the crazy thing is like that. I did it for Joan Van Ark, who some of you know, some of you don't. She was a, a, a Knott's Landing star back in the day. And uh, so I do it for her. But then you can't like say, oh, that is for that age bracket of a woman. Because mm -hmm. then here you have a Katy Perry wanting the yeah. same thing. And the, what I really enjoy doing are having pieces that can completely look different on whoever it is that's wearing it. Right. You know, they, they put their own stamp on it and uh, make it their own. It's fun. I wanted to also talk about your wedding dresses very quickly because the gowns that you do obviously are, are very, very sought after. And you do some of the couture pieces here. You obviously do some pieces for Klein Felts as well. But yes. When you're dressing a bride, what are the things... Again, it's listening to the bride. The hardest part for me is I love a bride. I love a bride that's that's modern things. That's why I'm looking for Fox and it's progressive. What drives me crazy is when the daughter's telling me what she wants and the mother's behind her, no, no, you're gonna have this and you're gonna have that. And I listen until I'm finally like, it's not your wedding, it's your daughter's, <laughs> you know, and think about when it was your wedding. Yeah. Let her wear what she wants and say this is who she is, not you. So, and sometimes I win and sometimes I'm told to shut up. So it's, you know, <laughs> all in, in day's work. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for you. spending time with us. Thank and I, I hope thank we can you. do some things again and maybe, you know, even talk about what's especially fabulous on different figures. And totally, and you know, fabrics. Fabrics, you know, can do different things on different body types. So mm -hmm. knowing what fabric to look for when you're looking for whatever type of garment really helps. I would love that. Yeah. All right, we'll plan on that. We'll do it. It's a day. Thank you. Okay. Take care. That's Mark Zanino, and of course, you will find his designs and some of the most glamorous women on the red carpet, in the magazines, on the concert stage, and um, just out having lunch. Yep. Thanks, Mark. That's what we do.